Yeah. Yeah. From level to level to level. Hello, Mr. Squidward. Definitely saw a screw fall out. Niagara Falls right here, guys. Oh. Cool. Let's head him up. With catch him all fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Get him up. Guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see by the title of this video, we're not talking about pool ponds today. We're talking about what we just built. This pond is absolutely beautifully healthy. Beautiful. All these guys are eating. They're getting so big. We're power feeding these guys. We're going to try to make them as big as we can possibly make them. That's the iridescent sharks. That's all these arowanas. That's the koi fish. They are actually looking like they're trying to breed. We might have to do something else with them. We have oh, obviously that giant, beautiful catfish. Dude, all of these, oh, calm down, calm down. All these fish are looking 100% amazing. But right here, I've isolated it. This is no longer connected to the lake, guys. This is just flowing temporarily because unfortunately, it seems like there's some type of bacterial infection or a fungus or something. So what I had to do is isolate all of our small fish. Luckily, our tiny koi are still completely fine, guys. You can come see them over here. Or is it the whole school of them? Here we go. There we go. Look at that big old school of them. We're doing that right here to the side. That's a special little project. That's not going to take very long. I have the treatment to use it. I will show you guys that on a future video. Power feeding those baby koi. We're power feeding all of these fish right here. They're going to get jacked very, very soon. Look at all this stuff. Check it out. Check it out. We have everything we need to finish off this pond. There is this stones. Come on, come on. Look at the size of this thing. We finally finished building the frame for this bottom layer pond. Now we had the flow continuing from level to level to level, but at the same time, it was such a waste of space. I had like two inches of water. Like I could put guppies in there, but then all the birds are gonna come and I'm gonna have to take care of the birds and the raccoons. We already have all the raccoons we need. Trust me, we don't need any more furs. This is enough space for our Paku guys, or a giant catfish, or our Paku giant catfish and your mouth 10 feet wide, more or less. This is about, I want to say, 18 feet long. It's super, 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 super big. This is connected to the lake, as you guys know. Behind us, let me show you guys what I chicken rigged over there to keep our fish alive while we had this project going. Now, what we have with Niagara Falls right here, guys, is this is just a flowing system to make sure that these fish are oxygenated. There is absolutely nothing going on here but having this giant pump in a bucket. This water is just nothing but going back and forth, back and forth, making sure these fish have oxygen. Like, like a runner's in a bucket with a bubbler, guys, while it's really <laughs> a little bit windy right now. We've only had the system doing this for about an hour, guys, while we finish this up, while we let everything dry behind you. Also, we do have a 140 mile per hour leaf blower. It does a pretty good job of helping dry things up. So all we have to do is get this tarp down and cover the entirety of this pond. How big of an area this pond is though, guys. We do have an exit valve. Look at this. The exit flow, sorry, is going to be right here in this corner, which means there's going to be a little bit of a, like, a space for the water to be a, a tiny pinch stagnant. So we're going to need some serious, serious flow. We're going to have this hardcore pump upgrading the pumps in the system so it is flowing like this check this out this is literally niagara falls this is the size pump that i use for my 18 by 9 that i have over there on my mother's property with the giant fish guys this super powerful pump super powerful guys any fireman would love to have a hose like this and i'm sure any guy would too if you look down right here there is so much oxygen just so much oxygen there's joey's little white fish over there <laughs> swimming against the current for its life but anyway these guys are completely fine getting so much oxygen they're good to go and don't forget this is lake water what we're doing now is we're actually lifting this pond up entirely so i stapled ah, some of these pieces on here ah, and i made it so the fish could not swim from level to level they would be trapped and whatever level they are, like these fish are right here, right now, they're sitting right there. But if this was free flowing, the water would obviously be trickling over like that one is. Look at that. Any fish could dump right through there pretty much, unless it's a very, very large fish. So what I want to do is be very, very careful though, because as you guys can see, there's staples. Zoom into that. That could easily puncture a hole in this thing and ruin the entire project. And I got to make sure I pick them up. So what I have, is a magnet super magnet you can just get this anywhere if you drop screws or anything i like to go over everywhere that i've been working to make sure i pick everything up so i popped out a couple staples probably 
Definitely saw a screw fall out when I lifted this up. Just gonna bring this around. There we go. Just a couple staples zoom into that. Staple, staple, screw. Just keep it all together right there. I'm not even gonna take it off this thing. What? There's a squirrel! No, no. Ah! Where'd he go? I'm running. You, know you gotta push him towards the door. <laughs> he almost ate my feet. <laughs> it's a squirrel. It looks like he is on your feet. Yeah, <laughs> that's what's left of the raccoon. Oh crap. Oh, here's. Come here, come here. He's literally right here. Get down, get down. Right where I'm sitting. Right there. Can you grab I'm to go from the other side. Okay, stay right there. Stay right there. Okay. Stand right there. Can you see him? Yeah. I can see him. Oh, oh, hey, buddy. Where'd he go now? <laughs> He's still in the same spot. Okay. You want me to open this door? No, I keep the door's open. Oh, look at him! Ah. Get out! Look at Is him! Is he out yet? He's on this side. Where'd he go? Oh my no, god! He's over. Where's, where's he now? He's over somewhere by the ping pong table. Where? Where? He went into the corner. Oh my where the god. lamp is. Oh, he's right here. He's right here. Hold on, hold on. He's right here. Aww. We're gonna get him now. He's right here. Look, he's right here, down here. Wait. Oh, he's on. He's on the pull-up push-up bar. Here he goes. Here he goes. We should keep him. <laughs> That's a dirty road. He's probably pooping all over the place now. <laughs> Come right here. Okay. Come on. Hang out this way. He's gonna run right at you. I'm gonna scoop him. <gasps> Animal crossing! No! No! Ah! Again. Where'd he go? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Square Red. Come on. Across the road. Come on, he's getting tired. It's about taking your time. No, 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 no. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look into this thing right now. He is my child. No, no. Oh, he's getting pissed. He's trying to fight now. <laughs> Look at that thing. Find your way home. To freedom, child. To freedom. <laughs> All right, and that's the final cut, guys. Well, ah, God. for the most part, we can have anything in here now. This is the perfect height to have any fish survive in here and be comfortable in here because if fish are too, too shallow, then they don't like to eat. Sometimes they get spooked. The sunlight's beating down on them. And honestly, even a Paku is just so wide, they won't be able to sit up straight if they're in a shallower pond than this. So it's looking good. We're gonna use some silicone, guys. Literally douse it in silicone. Make sure that your pond is waterproof and give it plenty of time to dry, at least 24 hours. I recommend like three days. Final product, everything I've been working for in the last few days, guys, check this out. We have all of our koi and everything down here. They've been sitting here. We've been putting them back and forth and forth and back, guys. You have no idea. The larger fish, everything to make sure that we were able to seal this pond indefinitely, guys. Check it out. Boom, second level. Still pretty deep. It's actually a little bit deeper than it was before. So you guys can see there's nothing in here, guys. Absolutely nothing. Check it out. Keep it moving. Look at the size of this thing. This is 16 feet long, maybe even longer than that. I know it's 16 feet from that wall to this wall. So that's pretty much as long as it is, guys. It's a huge, huge space for any fish that we could possibly imagine going right back to the lake. We have the walls. We have everything we need to keep a giant fish or a giant amount of fish, guys. It's also flowing water. We changed the pump, guys. I probably should have shown you that. I had to jump down in the water. I was like neck deep. It was ridiculous. Making sure all this stuff was secure. Now, as you guys can see, we are all done, guys. Check it out. Come on, come on down here. Come on down here, baby. Look at this. Look at the size of all of this. This is massive, massive. Now come from this side. Check it out. The water levels have gotten really high. Got a nice little, nice little waterfall, guys. We're all done. I normally don't show start to finish. I like to leave you guys in suspense, but I wanted to show you guys the start to finish to show you guys the entirety 
of this entire this huge pond. It's really big, really, really big. We got a couple of guests here right now. We're about to start fishing. I just saw a hybrid back here. I'm hoping that we can catch it, or maybe a giant puppy, something like that. Something really cool, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. This is a magnificent creation, one of my favorite builds of all time. To be able to have all these fish, different sections, stuff like that. We're ready to catch them all. Catch them all. Woo! Get him up.